Uh, not really. I'm uh, just counting out 15 jelly beans to celebrate uh, Mary Ann's 15 years at Halton Hills Christian School. Huh. 13, 14, 15. You know, that actually doesn't seem like that many. I wonder, since she's actually retiring, would it be more appropriate to count out all the years that that she's been a teacher and principal. What do you think? How many is that? 40. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. That's the same number of years that the Israelites wandered in the wilderness before they got to their promised land. You know, maybe it would be a, a good time to, to celebrate and honor Marianne for, for those 40 years and all the lives that she's impacted during that time. Let's go ahead with that. I'm going to keep counting. 16, 17, 18, 19. Hello, I'm Mayor Rick Bonnet from the town of Halton Hills. And we have a special lady who's retired, and that is Principal Marianne Van Gore from the Halton Hills Christian School. I would like to wish you and your family the most happiness and a wonderful time that you're going to be having as you start your new chapter in your life. Thank you for being such an inspiration to the many students at the school. And thank you for your friendship that you've shown the town of Halton Hills. All the best, happy retirement. Hi, Marianne. I consider it a privilege to speak words to you today in this significant transition in your life because Marianne Van Gore, you are the very best Christian school, elementary school principal in Ontario. And that's a title that doesn't come easily. You are in a class of one. I know that every bit of that honor is earned. Marianne, you were always searching for something more about education, about leadership, to be learned, to be lived, to be experienced. You've been relentless in your pursuit. And the result is, you know leadership and education like few others. And when I think about your leading capacity, I think of your leadership enthusiasm that creates positive momentum that makes a staff team unstoppable. I think about you creating a new pedagogical story with a purpose in Georgetown. I think of you helping all children believe that they can do when it comes to education. You are a master at developing community support that is contagious. You have foresight. You have insight. Marianne, you know the difference between management and leadership, and you're accomplished at both. You have the courage to face circumstances honestly and wisely, and you do the right thing even when afraid or alone. And with this courage, you sustain your vision and that of the school in the face of all circumstances and all choices. Courage in the face of fear is a remarkable gift. Your character, engraved in your being, has guided you and your motivations and your conduct. Your humility, for example, is inspirational to those around it. It gives others of us permission to be human, and it liberates us from anxiety and fear. Also, your powerful relational skills leads to value in people and it develops communities of care. Over the years, you have led with integrity, which creates trust and confidence in your leadership. You are a trusted confidant of many in leadership positions who seek your sage advice and your counsel. Mary Ann, you have been and are a visible leader. You offer up your gifts to others. You pay your dues. You led OXA, you led OXA during a very formative time. Your present cohort leadership gives other leaders a chance to get a glimpse of the master practitioner at work. I've been an admirer of you and your leadership for many years, 
and could go on for some time about your competencies, your character, and your courage. Ontario Christian schools have been, have been and are blessed by Mary Ann Van Gore. God bless you, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, thank you for inviting my staff into your school to learn about responsive classrooms and for the kindness that you showed us. Thank you for taking me under your wing at the conferences that we attended together and for including me in your discussions. Thank you for answering my questions when I called and for the wisdom that you shared with me. I have been overwhelmed by your generosity and by the love and care that you've consistently shown me. I wish you all the best as you head into your retirement and walk the new path that God has for you. Thank you very much for this opportunity to speak at uh, the retirement celebration of Mary Ann Van Gore. I guess our story is the moment that we approach the school for our foster daughter, Shaylin, uh, Mary Ann has been nothing short of amazing. It was almost like she was there waiting and ready to go um, for what we needed her for. Um, through her hard work, diligence, her advocacy for Shaylin, and her determined, determined approach, uh, with wisdom, with dealing with CAS. Um, you have made a path uh, possible for a girl named Shaylin, our foster daughter, to go to school, to learn to read and write, to go to high school, to graduate with honors, and then go to college. We believe that you were specially equipped by God to do a great work in our uh, foster daughter, uh, Shaylin, and also in, um, in our other girls. We want to thank you for being such a willing servant, and we thank God for you, uh, for working through you, Mary Ann Van Gore. So, Mary Ann Van Gore, clearly you have a unique and special way about you that undoubtedly, for many years, Halton Hills Christian School has benefited greatly from. We are sure that anyone who had anything to do with the school would agree, hands down. We thank you for all you have done for our girls and our grandchildren. And we wish you a wonderful and blessed uh, retirement. And God be with you till we meet again. Yes. Thank you. Hi, Marianne. Well, your retirement day is almost here. I'm so excited for you. One thing I want to comment on is the fact that as a leader, I found you led by the most glorious example. The way you lived, the way you conducted yourself, the way you interacted with people was nothing short of amazing. And you drew others to God in all of that. I want to wish you all the best in your retirement. Looking forward to having time to play together. Come on over. The backyard is waiting, looking forward to all that God is going to do in your life in the years to come. Blessings, my friend. Congratulations, Congratulations Mary Ann. Scott and I would like to wish you all the best as you retire. May you enjoy your time with your family and friends. And we would like to thank you for your years of dedication, your love, and your service throughout all these years. Well, thanks again, Mary Ann, and may God bless you and Martin. Yes, God bless you both. Thanks again. Well, Marianne, I didn't think it would end like this, but it is. Um, we want to thank you for the opportunity to work alongside with you at uh, Halton Hills Christian School over these last six years. Um, it's been a blessing both as a parent, a board member, uh, and someone who is uh, connected to the HHCS community to have uh, been able to serve with you to watch you nurture uh, and help our children develop into the young Christians that they are. We are grateful for that. I think, Marianne, I'm gonna miss uh, your positive uh, outtake on the situations that, uh, that came your way. Uh, you always found a way to see the positive uh, and work with uh, adversity. Uh, and turn it into uh, a blessing. So as you go off into retirement, 
uh, and as you get to spend time pursuing things at your own pace, I want to wish you God's blessing. I want to wish you uh, the best as you and Martin navigate what retirement looks like. Um, I'm sure you won't have any problems with that. And I want to wish you God's grace uh, as you uh, inject yourself still in the Christian school uh, and allow others to learn from you, uh, to share your wisdom, uh, and to allow the nurturing spirit that we have seen from you at HHCS flourish throughout the rest of Ontario and, and maybe Canada. So uh, on behalf of this retiring board chair to you, I consider it a privilege to send you off into retirement uh, and wish you nothing but the best and God's blessings as you and Martin um, try out this new chapter. From all I've been told, it seems to be pretty good. I'm not there yet, uh, but uh, maybe you can fill me in on your escapades and adventures uh, as the months go by. So Marianne, God's blessings uh, to you, Martin, and the rest of your family. And again, I just want to say what a blessing it was to serve alongside you uh, as we shepherded God's school, Halton Hills Christian School, over these last six years. So I pinky promise to try and stay in touch with you and to uh, maybe one of these evenings when COVID's over, swing by your place with a few beers and uh, we can chat some more. Thanks a lot, Marianne, for all of your service. God's blessings. I had the pleasure of being mentored by Marianne as part of a Master's of Education program where we were to partner with a principal that would provide hands-on training. Marianne dedicated her time, energy, and wisdom for many months with me. Marianne demonstrated relational leadership like I had never seen or experienced before. She truly cares for her community. She shows true empathy and compassion for her staff, students, and parents. Marianne is a team player. Collaboration is at the heart of everything that she does. Marianne has the gift to bring those with different talents and abilities together to create a dynamic, effective team. Marianne is visionary and has been instrumental to lead Christian education to new heights. She helps drive others to desire to grow and become a better version of themselves. One of the most beautiful characteristics of Marianne is her humility and passion to serve God. She truly is a servant leader. Thank you, Marianne, for pouring into my own personal leadership journey. Blessings as you move from Halton Hills Christian School and continue to support leaders in Christian education. Teaching is a calling, and Marianne certainly has heard that calling, and it has allowed her to make an immeasurable impact on her students and faculty. Her love embraced us when we needed it the most, rolling Anna partway through the year into the Aerosmith program. We are so grateful for her compassion, empathy, and constant encouragement, especially through the toughest times when Anna's health was affecting her schooling. We wish you all the best on a much deserved retirement. You have served others so much. It is time for others to serve you between trips, nights out on the town, and wherever your bucket list takes you. Dearest Ms. Van Gogh, it was hard to choose what to say because there's so much to say about you. Since I had to choose something, it is that Mrs. Van Gogh is and always will be the best ambassador for HHCS. From our personal experience, you calmed us down when, our, when we felt our family was in free fall, when our daughter was bullied at, at her school and we withdrew her quickly without any plans of where to go. We came to see you in March of 2014, right before March break. And after our meeting, I felt we'll be good. Anna will be good and we have arrived home. There is a Bible quote that kept coming up in my reading as I was working on what to say. It is from Galatians chapter five, verse 22 to 23. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle, gentleness, and self-control. Ms. Van Gogh, in those who visit the school community for one day, 
or those who stay for many years. You embody those gifts of spirit and how you make each one of us feel. Heard, loved, respected, and a team member. Thank you, Mrs. Van Gore, for all your support during my time at HHCS. You have had a really big influence on me and others with your kindness, patience, goodness, gentleness, and faithfulness. It was a great honor to have you as a principal. Your warm smile, smiles were always a big part of my day, and your positive attitude is outmatched in my opinion. You've shown your great love of God through all you've done. You have been a shining light to many, including me. Thank you for your many years of service and being an incredible principal. We wish you a great retirement. Memories that I will always treasure when I think back to working with Mary Ann over the past 15 years. Our conversations through the wall, sometimes people walking by our offices thought we were talking to ourselves. Mary Ann knows how to challenge us, um, seeking the best in each one of us. She herself is very visionary and thrives on going the extra mile and trying new things. Um, examples are the Aerosmith program, Harmony Preschool, um, the school expansions. Um, Marianne has a really cool way of drawing us out, um, asking just the right questions, encouraging us, encouraging me. Um, she's fun loving. Um, if I think of all her crazy costumes for the different um, wacky hair day and spirit day and pajama day, just her, her love of life. She just emanates pure joy. Um, she's an amazing gift giver. Um, I have gifts all around my home um, that will always remind me of Marianne. Um, she has also um, blessed me with many cards and notes over the years um, to encourage me um, through different uh, things that uh, I have gone through. Um, she has a real gift of words. I love reading her weekly um, principles news on the news nuggets. She gets she gets us thinking. Um, she's a very wise woman. Um, she helps us to see the big picture. Um, what's really important, she draws us closer to our Lord. Marianne, I thank the Lord for you, for the blessing you have been to our school, um, to the staff, to the students, to the board, but especially to me personally. You are a treasure and I am going to miss you terribly. Um, but I'm also very much looking forward to see what exciting things God has in store for you in this next chapter of your life. Now I need my Kleenexes. Hi, Marianne. Greetings from Gainesville, Florida and The Rock School. It is such a joy uh, to be able to send this video. I know that I don't know you nearly as well as all the people in your community that are celebrating with you, but I'm so privileged that I was sent uh, an invitation to make a, a short video um, because I just wanted you to know that even though I'm way down here in the middle of Florida, that you and your work has had an impact on my life and by extension on my school. When I visited your school last May with the MindShift group, I needed God to do something in my life in that season, both personally and professionally. And the time that I spent at your school and specifically your brief remarks to our group just did something really supernatural in my life. It was exactly what I needed. And in the midst of that, you shared this very simple idea that leads your school, this what does love require? And that so resonated with me and just settled in my heart for so long as I thought about it all summer long that I ended up using that um, as the theme for our school this year. And um, we made these bracelets that I still wear even today that reminds me of this question, what does love require? And it is helping me and my school community to do a better job of 
loving one another um, and loving our neighbor. So thank you. Thank you for just your faithfulness and your faithful witness and all that you have done in your school and all that you have shared with other leaders that you come in contact with. Uh, because whether you realize it or not, there are people like me that are deeply impacted even by the short moments that we have spent with you. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of me and my family and on behalf of my entire school community we are better because of you so thank you and god bless you congratulations marianne on your retirement i want to say thank you for taking a chance on me 13 years ago when you hired me right before school started under your leadership i was able to grow as a teacher so thank you for your wisdom encouragement and cheerleading Thank you for challenging me to take risks and to try new things. Thank you for uh, teaching me that failure is okay. Sometimes you just have to try. I learned to sometimes you just have to suck it up and how to eat humble pie. I admire the vision that you've always led with and I just feel honored that, that I had the privilege to work alongside you both as a colleague and a friend. Happy retirement. Retirement, wow. Let me know if I should give it a try, Marianne. First of all, we'd like to congratulate you on a career well played and a well-deserved retirement. For those watching this who don't know us, my name is Harry Dykeshorn and this is my wife, Marilyn. We both had the privilege of working closely with Marianne over many years of service in various volunteer positions at Emmanuel Christian School in Elmer. Marianne was dearly loved as a classroom teacher, resource teacher, and principal. She took the 10 talents that God gave her and earned far greater than 10 more. The scope of the impact that her life had on so many other lives will never be fully known. There are students living around the globe who have been impacted by her and are now making their mark on society. Marianne has been a good and faithful servant. Marianne was a friend and mentor to me personally as I filled various volunteer positions at Emmanuel, the most challenging of which was that of development director. Initially, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but Marianne was forever the patient encourager, pushing me way outside my comfort zone and helping me to develop skills and gifts I didn't know I had. Emmanuel Christian School was well blessed by Marianne's leadership and by the impact she had on staff students and families throughout her years in Ilmer. I know she was originally hired to work with students, but it soon became evident that she also had leadership skills in the area of administration. She mentored me and in my role as board member and later as board chair. Her ability to be a visionary leader more than qualified her for her role as principal. Completing the education required to earn her principal certificate while raising a family and working full-time could not have been easy, but Marianne was never known to complain about being overworked and always had the time to answer questions and help find solutions to issues that would arise. She always had the best interests of ICS, its staff, students, and parents in mind and worked many hours preparing for upcoming calendar, calendar years, curriculum development, visionary planning, and various other things involved in the day-to-day -day operations of an educational institution. I can still hear her infectious laugh as I think back to her time at Emmanuel. It was a joy to work with Marianne, and she has been a huge blessing to us here in Ilmer. It is said that a teacher's job is never done. That has been very true of Marianne. She always went way above and beyond. One memory that sticks out in my mind is of an afternoon at the end of the school day and year. We were moving some furniture to make way for major school renovations when I sustained a crush injury to my hand. Mary Ann went above and beyond to be sure that our young daughter was cared for before whisking me off to the hospital, staying with me through the long ER process, and seeing me safely home again. Like I said, above and beyond the call of duty. That's not just a principal, that's a friend. I remember the day that Marianne told me she had accepted the job at Halton Hills Christian School. My heart dropped to my shoes, and I felt certain ICS was doomed. God has been good, 
and ICS has been richly blessed. But suffice it to say that Marianne has been greatly missed, both professionally and personally. Marianne, we love you, and we miss you, and we wish you God's richest blessing as you switch gears. I'm sure you look forward to taking time to smell the roses and spending more time with your family and friends, especially those precious little ones who call you Grandma. We know that this is not the end, but it's a beginning of the next exciting phase of your life. We look forward to hearing about the adventures that God calls you to in the coming months and years. God, God bless, bless you. you. Hi, Marianne. Just wanted to take this time to thank you so much for everything that you've done for us and our family. You have been a mentor, a principal, and a friend. And all the best in your retirement, and thank you for teaching us to always choose joy. Marianne, it has been a joy getting to know you. A couple of terms that we served together on the board. It was great watching your leadership, your encouragement, your empowerment to staff, your decisiveness, all these incredible management traits. Uh, but what was really wonderful was uh, getting to know you as a person. You know, you always said that each student matters. And while I wholeheartedly agree with that, uh, what I saw was that you genuinely feel that every person matters. And you taught me that. Uh, I always felt that you really cared whenever we spoke and whenever I saw you speaking with others. You genuinely showed uh, an interest in what they had to say. And so with that, you've left an indelible impact on our lives, on our family's life. And uh, we want to wish you and Martin all the very best in your retirement years. Um, hopefully this isn't goodbye, but it's see you later. And we look forward to seeing you at some point in the future. Have a great retirement and God bless. Bye-bye. Hi there, Marianne. I just want to say congratulations and wish you all the best on your retirement. Um, and to say thank you for your amazing leadership, for your gentle persistence in encouraging others and uh, just leading and guiding people to be who God's calling them to be. So you have been an inspiration to me in my leadership and uh, a huge blessing in my life. So thank you and I wish you all God's amazing blessings. I love you and I think you are amazing. Hi Marianne. Congratulations on your retiring. You spent 17 years at a manufacturing school, five years as a teacher, and 12 years as a principal. I had the privilege of being your administrative assistant, working with you in our small office. We worked well together, sharing laughter, discussions, ideas, and at times praying for difficult situations. You are a blessing to me this year. I pray God will bless you, Martin, your children, and grandchildren, as you move into a new chapter of your life and your more time to spend with your and as you move forward, I pray that God will continue to bless you and that you will serve God in whatever he has in his plans for you. Love Hi, Marianne. Uh, it's with great gratitude that we get to speak some words into this time where you step back from leading at HHCS. We're so thankful for that because you have been a fantastic leader and I know it's all been God inspired and God's been with you through all of this but we still want to appreciate you for who you are and all that you have led. When you came 15 years ago we were actually stepping back from our involvement in HHCS, actually GDCS at the time, and um, our youngest was in grade 8 but then God led us to have a seven-year-old boy in our family which kicked us right back to grade 2 and uh, you embraced that wholeheartedly and uh, we're supportive through all of that and we're deeply, deeply appreciative for that. Uh, we considered some ways, um, as we reflected on your time here, just some ideas came to mind and some thoughts and we just thought we would share them with you. And we have our little prop here because that's what teachers have. It's, it's a hard hat, um, which indicates working and you certainly did work. And it's white because white means that you're the leader, you're the foreman. So as we thought about this, a few things came to mind. We've so appreciated your gift of listening. You've just been a real listener to so many people, students, staff, parents, community, so many. And part of your listening has involved mediating as well. Uh, many kids have visited you in the office, we know that well. And um, you've mediated with children and with uh, families and, and whoever needed that and you would speak wisdom into lives. And I know that through all of that, your psychology has developed a little bit, whether maybe informally, but certainly has developed. Um, 
you've been very relational. Relational with the students, relational with your staff, relational with the parents, the community. You have cared for all of them. And Marianne, you have been a constant learner, reading books all the time. I don't know how you did that, but you, you got time for that. You read, you learned, you sought out new teaching methods for, uh, for the staff and to benefit the students. You're always looking. So you're learning, but you're also turning around and then teaching that to your staff. And we saw that through the project-based learning. We saw that through Aerosmith. And that's just to name two. I mean, there have been many, many projects that we're not even fully aware of because we've not been involved the last few years. Yeah, and Mary, and I've really uh, appreciated through a lot of our, uh, a lot of the other leadership areas that you've uh, worked with us on and, and helped us uh, through, but also in the construction uh, projects that we've done together, just really appreciated your creativity um, in, in new types of learning for children that just start are learning uh, maybe the old the regular way and uh, just appreciate all the innovation and all the things that uh, that you've you've thought up so visionary and forward thinking is is another uh, another one um, you certainly are a doer we uh, we did a lot of uh, challenging things together it's uh, I'll just leave it there it was really really good times and at the end it was really successful um, as we said, you're an innovator in design and construction. Um, it was really, uh, it was really good to take things the way we did. I, I think keep thinking back to the aquarium that we built uh, with books in it. It's a real uh, beautiful thing, and there's a lot of innovative things in that library that are uh, are just just fun to do, and and it takes uh, it takes innovation to come up with those. I also thought it was rather humorous that. Uh, you would lose your voice most Christmases. Um, I think maybe that's just part of your leadership skill and letting others lead. And Marianne, we also uh, recognize that you always chose joy and that was evident in your laughter. You could laugh sometimes in them, you know, dealing with the most ridiculous things. Um, I mean, maybe not ridiculous, but challenging. You, you still found joy and laughter in that and that in affected everybody around you. We see that and we appreciate that. And Marianne, when you came here 15 years ago, you were first introduced at the membership meeting in the spring and, and you shared that you were a gardener, you enjoyed gardening. And I, at that time I thought, she's a gardener, we're in good hands. Because a gardener likes to prepare the soil, plant the seed, nurture, you care, you see, all those things. And then when the uh, flowers are bloomed or the crop is ready, you know, there's the harvest and there's celebration and there's joy. And we share with you in celebration and joy for all the things that you have uh, done and, and accomplished and during your leadership here at HHCS. And we know, again, that is all with God, but we still are grateful, deeply grateful for your leadership here, Marianne. So with that, on my sticker and a flower, and we say thank you, Marianne. Thanks, Mar thanks Marianne. Congratulations on your retirement after a very productive career. I'm sure that your retirement is going to be as exciting as your career was. We wish you the best. Happy and healthy retirement, Marianne. Uh, we want to say thank you for being an excellent principal at Emmanuel Christian School. We have a lot of fun when you was teaching over there and, and to see how you did with our kids. Uh, they were very welcome when we just emigrate and, and they feel home since the first moment because you, you give uh, them a very welcome day. Thank you so much again. Congratulations, Marianne. You've had a lifetime of influence, not only on your own school community, but also on Christian schools across this province. You've influenced parents, students, teachers, education leaders here and beyond. And we warmly thank you for that impact that you are having and will have into the future. On behalf of Advanced Christian Schools Association, we offer you our heartiest congratulations. Hi, Marianne. It's hard for me to put into words how much I appreciate you. I've known you for 20 years and I've worked together with you for all, almost all of that time except for a few years. From the very beginning, I could sense your genuine care and I always feel so blessed 
that I was given the opportunity to be able to teach with you. I feel that I've learned so much from you because of the time that you've invested in me. And uh, I'm so thankful to God that he chose to have our paths cross and intertwine. Uh, your faith in me has challenged me to stretch and grow and, and bolstered me to reach uh, higher than I thought before. And you always, always have an encouraging word. So my friend, as you prepare to retire, I hope you know how much you're truly valued. How living for the one true king has impacted my life and so many others. May you enjoy your retirement with more leisurely strolls, more time planning trips with Mark any time of the year, longer cups of coffee and tea, more time with your kids and your grandkids and extended family and your friends, uh, more time in your garden and more time for just one more book and maybe even write a book. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for everything. I'm grateful for the opportunity to take a little bit of time to thank you for the blessing that you have been to me in my short period of time as principal at Calvin Christian School. Uh, in that short period of time, I have discovered from you what it means to be a servant leader, uh, a courageous innovator, and a inspiring motivator. Uh, your dedication to your students and to your school community was always very evident and has inspired me to do likewise. Uh, thank you for your gentle leadership your listening ear, and your kind friendship. Oh, uh, by the way, I also have my bucket here. Uh, the bucket uh, was given to me as a gift by you, Marianne, and uh, it was a way in which I could um, uh, fill it up with different things that would make me a better person and a better uh, principal as well. Uh, it has motivated me to do just that. Uh, thanking you for all the different ways in which you have supported me and helped me. Uh, wishing you God's blessing in the future and as you look forward to retirement. My name is Joanne Cruzen, and I have known Marianne Van Gore since 1980, I think. So that's a long time. I was actually in her first class, and let me tell you a little bit about that class. Uh, this uh, class was in a brand new school, which was in a rural farming community, uh, which is the community that I grew up in. And this community's heart's desire was to have a Christian school as part of their community. So I was in the first class that Marianne ever taught, a class where there were students in grades one, two, three, and four. And boy, that must have been a challenge. Reading Buddies, uh, as I remember it, was the grade fours, which is what grade I was in. We took our chairs over to sit beside the grade ones, which who were in the same class, and we read with them. I also think that that was probably a help for them because then they could read to us and that was good for them to read. Uh, she has said to me in conversations recently that we've had that our class just about did her in. So I don't know if that was the students that were in my grade or if that was just all of it combined. I can, I can just about imagine that and I've had that feeling myself. Uh, but boy, did we ever have some fun. Some of the memories that I have from those days, uh, fine arts festivals, um, also, there was a prize box in the class that we could pick prizes from when we needed a prize. So all I know is that we got prizes. I don't actually really know um, what the prizes were for. I just knew that we got them. Um, my grade four class had six students in it. It remained that way until we graduated in grade eight, but we had six students. There were three boys and three girls in that class. And one time I remember that Marianne invited us um, to stay after school on a fine arts festival day to help set up for the fine arts festival. But then also at the time we did marking for her, we uh, helped her clean the black blackboards, we helped her uh, clean up in the classroom and that kind of thing. And it was really cool. And then after that, Marianne invited us over to her house for dinner and then we would return back to school for the uh, Fine Arts Festival at night. So that's at least how I remember it. I'm not exactly sure if that's how it happened, but um, that's a real special memory to me. And in reflecting upon this time now, I think about how much she valued us as kids um, and our relation, her relationships with students, but I also see that that hasn't changed at all. And that's now um, as she is as a principal, she cares for her students and also for her staff. So I went on to graduate from that little school and I became a teacher myself. And I can honestly say that those moments that she gave of herself to help us with schoolwork, being a mentor and just being a great teacher highly affected my choice of vocation. I also would say that choosing a career is a multifaceted decision, but 
um, Marianne definitely had a hand in the trajectory of my life. And I'm sure that there are many other people who could say the same. So fast forward to 15 years ago, and I remember walking down the hall in um, our school, and there was a whole entourage of people walking around with uh, a person who was the new prospective principal. And she was coming to interview for the position of new principal at Georgetown District Christian School. And that was Mary Ann Van Gore. Of course, I hadn't seen her since the 1980s, so I had grown up and I recognized her right away. Um, but what I knew at that moment was that if she was anything like the teacher that I remembered, that she would be an excellent choice as principal. And then she was um, subsequently hired and the rest is, is history. Um, but what I really wanna say is that Mary Ann has been such a blessing to me personally. And I realize it's because uh, we've had that connection from my early childhood. I really value the impact that she had on my life. And I now see how much impact she's had not only on GDCS and HHCS, but all the children's lives that she's uh, participated in through the education of, at our school. And that actually includes my own children, which is really cool. Um, it's a cool thing to remember. Um, I've so much appreciated her attitude of ongoing learning. I mean, there's so much to appreciate about Marianne, but um, she always has an attitude of ongoing learning. She's always reading a book, uh, going to conferences, and then she shares her wisdom and learning with the staff. And that just challenges us to think uh, differently, to think better, uh, to change our practices, uh, to refine our practices. And I would say that she's been uh, not only a mentor and a friend, um, but I've been really truly blessed to work with her both in grade four and grade six as my teacher and in the last 15 years as my principal. And I actually still have my notebook from when she was my grade six teacher for um, uh, a unit that actually I teach right now called Underground to Canada. So I still have her writing in my notebook and, and that's a special thing that I actually still have. So I want to say to Marianne, too, as you enter this new phase of life called retirement, I know that you'll be very much missed. Uh, your words of advice and encouragement and friendship have been a big part of our school. Thanks, Marianne, for all that you've done. I hope that your retirement is as much a blessing to you as your career was to the many that walked the same halls that you walked and that you taught and mentored through the course of your teaching career. So God's blessings, and I hope to continue to see you and, uh, and that you'll come and visit us at HHCS and see what we're doing. Uh, take care and God bless. Hi, Marianne. Congratulations on this big step that you're taking. I think you're going to enjoy it once you get used to the idea. I've been thinking back about uh, times that we have shared, uh, both as colleagues as well as friends, you have been such an encourager and a listener for me. I've always appreciated I can think back to many times where you just stopped whatever you were doing and, and listened to what I had to say. And I really felt that you, you considered that to be important, uh, what I had to say also. You have challenged me. You have encouraged me to stretch and try new things. Uh, although I can remember times where I've thought, oh, Marianne, can't we just leave it? Isn't it just good enough the way it is? Do we always have to go on to something new? Um, but even in those times, you, you worked alongside me, and, I, and I, that's, a, that's a wonderful treasure I have. Thank you for all you have done for the schools as well as for me personally. Uh, thank you for encouraging me to go beyond beige. Uh, enjoy the new path that's ahead of you. Blessings, my friend. Congratulations, Marianne, on such a wonderful career and uh, for the impact that you've had on so many, and I know it's in particular for myself, as well as my extended family. Um, you've been such a blessing. Uh, it's been so great just getting to know you over the course of the last uh, two years um, and uh, just being under your mentorship uh, as part of our, of our group. And uh, just uh, hearing um, all of the, the wisdom uh, that you have to offer, uh, whether that was through scripture or whether it was a timely word, uh, but just the peace and the calm um, that you instilled uh, in our group and I know at your school as well, uh, it was such a blessing uh, each and every time. And I know as well, uh, personally, it meant so much for uh, my extended family uh, with all the work that you did with Andre over the years and, and having you uh, connect in with us through that. It's amazing how God weaves all of that together. Uh, so just know that uh, you've had quite an impact and uh, just uh, wish you all the best uh, as you move on to other things. Uh, but know that you will continue to be in my prayers and uh, that your legacy lives on. God bless.
Congratulations on your retirement, Marianne. I know that we have not taken many steps together in our leadership journey, but the steps that we have taken together, I have found you inspiring. I found you creative and I have found you full of wisdom. Uh, pray God's blessings on you as you take those next steps now into his kingdom and whatever that looks like for you. God bless.
seen you in such a long time. Yep, that's right. Your grade three teacher, Mr. Schwarzenberger. Oh, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. Actually, I was a little surprised that you were going to retire because I'm older than you are. But look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking great. I don't think I'm ready for retirement yet. But be it as it may, I think I'm getting off on a tangent here. I want to celebrate you. So remember when I taught you about the limericks in grade three? Yeah. I was so excited about your retirement. I thought I'd write you a limerick. So here it goes in honor of your retirement. There once was a girl from the West. She knew how to talk with the best. She led people well, had something to sell, and invited all people with zest. Verse 2. Growing up as a leader of leaders, she became the best reader of readers. She read far and wide and became a new guide for those looking for some wise leaders. Yeah. Verse 3. And now she is nearing the end. Pray tell, what time will she spend? Oh, so pensive and wise. Delightful, I cries. Don't leave me, your teacher and a friend. I'm getting all choked up. Verse 4. So how do you widen your stance? The thought of it makes me break dance. Grandchildren or right? Your future is bright. Ah, oh, forget those. Let's work for advance. Oh, that's your limerick. Congratulations. I hope you had a good time listening to that. So that was the slapstick part of the video. This is George Petrusma from John Knox, Oakville. Rejoicing with you in your retirement, Marianne. And as I reflect on who you are, I think about the trust that you have built, not only in your own building, but province-wide. And I think about three aspects of that. The authenticity that you have. People believe who you are. They believe they're getting the real you. I think of the logic, the way that you are well-read and the way that you think and come up with ideas. People trust them. I think of empathy. People believe that you truly care about them and their success. And if I take those three and layer it on to you desiring the kingdom, your faithful and energetic walk with your Lord and the way that you translate that out in education has been an inspiration. And again, not only to those at Halton Hills, but those who are uh, watching province-wide. So thanks so much for your leadership. I wish you a great retirement. Um, and as you transfer into advance, looking forward to you uh, continuing to be a leader of leaders. Happy retirement. Thanks so much. Hi, Chief. It's me, the other Marianne of Halton Hills Christian School. We've used that line a lot and we've had a lot of laughs. And uh, I want to tell you, it has been such a privilege working with you and being the other Marianne. I have learned much from you as I have observed and learned and then just grown in my various roles, whether I was a teacher or when I became the preschool director. And so I just want to try and share in a way as to uh, all that you have been to us as a community, whether it's with our students, our parents, us as co-workers. Um, who you've been as a leader in your role as principal of Halton Hills Christian School. So recently this week I read a passage from 1 Kings 3 and it was in the New Living Translation and I really liked the wording because it talked about when God asked King Solomon, what would you like from me? <clears throat> and King Solomon answers, give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to govern these great people of yours? And God really liked that request from Solomon. And so God gave Solomon a wise and understanding heart. And that is how you have led 
with a wise and understanding heart. And I've seen that in so many different ways. And so I thought I would use the word chief to try and describe that. And so the C is coach. You have been a coach to many. H, you have led with honesty. I, you have taught the value of incremental steps in fulfilling a vision. E, you have empowered each of us in our roles. F, you are a friend professionally, personally. Um, you have just done all of those things so well. So Chief, I want to take this moment to thank you for leading from a wise and understanding heart. You have taught and led well and have empowered many, many along the way. So as you enter into this new stage of your life of retirement, I wish you this blessing for both you and Mart. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. That is my prayer and that is my blessing for you. Thanks, Chief. Well, Marianne, uh, goodbyes are never easy, but I think it's, it's time for you, um, in a good way, um, for you to uh, leave our school. Um, you've been here for 15 years at HHCS. We've had kids for 14 years, so we've shared a lot of time together. Um, for 11 of those years, we served on the board together. And I know many of those days you started maybe at 6 a.m. in the morning getting up at Guelph and often we'd be there at 9 30, 10, 10 30, depending on what we had to talk about that night at a board meeting. But you never complained. You never looked at your watch saying, oh, it's, it's time to go. You, you worked hard for Christian education and uh, did it honorably. Thank you. Um, I sincerely am happy for you and Martin. You deserve this time. I know that's not an easy thing to say I deserve this because in light of what God has done for us done for us we're, we are undeserving but Marianne you deserve a break you deserve um, a time of rest and we know you will still have your hand already planned in Christian education so thank you for your continued faithfulness we'll miss you and uh, congratulations uh, from the Zoomer family Marianne, I just want to wish you all God's blessings as you enter this new stage of your life. And um, I'm sure you're excited to be um, grandmother to all those grandchildren that you have, uh, have and uh, spend some quality time with them. And I just ask for you to know that you have made a difference in all four of our children's lives. We will miss you and God's blessings. Thanks. Hey, Miss Puma, did you know Mrs. Dangora is retiring? She is. How do you know that? She's way too young to be retiring. No, I got an email from Miss Takaki who said she was retiring. She's been in this profession for 40 years already. 40 years? Where does the time go? I don't know. Up in the air. It's like yesterday. She was at Emmanuel Christian School teaching with us. Yeah. What grade was she teaching when I came to Elmer? I don't quite remember. I think she was part-time. She had her three young girls then. Right. Did we teach all three? Of course we did. There's Carolyn, Christina, and Elena. Yeah, that's true. I taught them too. Storytellers. They could tell the best stories. They went to the Legion a bunch of times. Yeah, Keeters. They had drive, those girls. Yeah. Do you remember the time when we went or had way too many parents going to the African Lion Safari and they, we didn't have enough room on the school bus. Yeah, Martin figured that one out on the fly. Put the extra parents in his van and everybody goes, great problem solving as usual, Martin. Thanks. Yeah, Mrs. Van Gore was a real fan of field trips. It's why she got her bus license to ensure that we could go anywhere. Remember when we took the primaries to the St. Thomas Airport? And that's when Manager Dale held back the air traffic so the bus could see the airport from the runway. 
Was Mrs. Van Gore driving that bus? No, it was Eric Hardeming. Oh, yeah. But she was the principal then. Yeah, she was good with that. Didn't she hold up traffic on Main Street in downtown Elmer? She did, in the middle of the day. What was that for again? It was a school challenge. She would walk a pig down Main Street of Elmer if the students at ICS would read 20,000 books. Yeah. Didn't she get police escort? She did. When she was principal at ICS, we had a dynamite custodial staff, didn't we? Yeah. Mr. Bob and Mrs. Ann, Mary Ann's parents. They were for sure a team. Energetic. Inventive. There for the teachers, 100%. There for the students, 100%. Is that where Mrs. Van Gogh gets her drive? Gets what? Her drive, her resourcefulness, her passion for Christian education. It's in the gene pool. Okay, Miss Buma, how are we going to wrap this up? I don't know. How about a song in this year of COVID-19 2020? Bring it on, Miss Buma. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. May God bless you always in big ways and small ways. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Blessings, Marianne, on your retirement. See ya. Hi, Marianne. I just want to give you thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done for the school. HHCS has been a one has had a wonderful principal in you for the last 15 plus years. Um, you will be greatly missed. You have truly lived up to the words that every child matters and yes every child matters to Christ and you have lived that to perfection so thank you very much for that you always were my rock in all different situations not just school related issues so even uh, last year when none of my kids were in at HHCS anymore I sought you out for advice in another situation concerning my daughter and again I mean you are just the most wonderful person with a listening ear for the concerns of your community and I am very very grateful for the friendship we've shared over these years and I do hope that I get to see you before uh, and yeah and I move back to Europe Nico is already gone and you were there for his send-off so I wish you a most wonderful retirement Marianne hello Marianne we feel privileged to be among the many people who are honoring you as you retire after 40 years in education. We wish you many healthy, happy years of retirement and God's blessings on you always. Enjoy your retirement to the fullest. Hope to see you again sometime soon. And again, God bless. Okay. Hi, Marianne. Uh, our whole family's here today to say thank you for your retirement and how much you mean to us since the day one we met you. Um, on behalf of myself, first to say thank you and Rebecca, um, from Rebecca also to say all the work that you've done for the kids and from the beginning to the end, we've appreciated it so much and we're really blessed to know a person like you. Um, just want to say God bless you and all the best for you in the future and we've made friends Hi Marianne, we want to congratulate you on your retirement and of course thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, You've meant a lot not just to Armin and their immediate family But as well for us, we really do feel like that we've made friends with you and we hope to keep in touch and thank you for every little piece of work that you did for Rebecca and the Odyssean family. Um, 
it's hard to put into words how we feel about you, but we are so thankful and so incredibly blessed to have you in our corner. And we want to thank you and please enjoy your retirement. And when you do get a few minutes, come by after this COVID is over and we'll hang out. Thanks again, Marianne. We do love you. Thank you, Marianne, for everything you did for our family. We will never can say enough. Thank you to you. Enjoy your retirement. Hi, Marianne. Thank you very much for everything you've done. As has already been said, you've been a great, great support for our family, the Odysseans and the Masseys. And we just love you a bit and we thank you and we appreciate you and all that you've done. We wish you the biggest, biggest joy and blessing um, during your retirement. Have fun, enjoy yourself, and don't forget us and uh, make sure you keep in touch. Uh, we'd love to continue a relationship with you and we really, really are honored to uh, know you and to uh, be a part of your fold. Thank you so much, Marianne, and uh, all the best. God bless you. God bless, Marianne. God bless you, Marianne. Thank you. Take care, Marianne. Love you. <laughs> Hi, Ms. Van Gore. Just want to congratulate you on your retirement. Uh, so excited for you. I really hope uh, you enjoy it, and it's very well-deserved. I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for uh, me, my family, uh, my mom, and just for the for the whole school, you just you're an amazing person. And my mom, uh, you know, she always said um, that you were a great principal, but you were even a better friend. And uh, I just we're just so thankful to know you, and wishing you all the best in your retirement. Ted Harris, principal at Smithville Christian High School, part of the Advance Movement. Mary Ann Van Gore, oh, she and I trained together for this principal thing way back in the '90s. And we took the Christian School Principal Certification courses together. And I just love being a learner alongside her. I grew so much getting to know her. And her wisdom then was just as strong as it is now. I also passed her the gavel when I was the chair of OXA, the Ontario Christian School Administrators Association, a while back. I passed her the gavel. And when she became the chair, it was a period during which there was increased unity due in no small part because of her leadership. So OXA, which has become part of Advance, OXTA, which became Edified, and OACS, which became Advance, these groups became more unified in their mission and in their working together, and the relationships became stronger. She was a big part of that. So the names have all changed, but she keeps giving leadership in advance, and she does this while leading a school at the same time. So she's done two beautiful things for our movement at once, become one of the most respected school leaders in the advanced family of schools, and at the same time has become one of the key leaders within the advanced movement among leaders. So Marianne, I hope you stay on as an advanced mentor amid all the other plans you may have for your retirement years, because I wouldn't want our movement to be devoid of your continuing wisdom. God bless you. Well done, good and faithful servant. Have a great retirement. Greetings, Marianne, all the way from BC. I wish I can celebrate with you in person, but I wanted to send my love and best wishes for your retirement from HHCS. We certainly had an amazing ride together, a ride that I will never forget. We um, lean on each other. We le learn so much from each other. I have learned so much from you. Your courageous leadership and vision from HHCS really took HHCS from here to there. Your high impact leadership will be missed without a doubt, but your legacy has paved the way for so many generations to come. So on behalf of my family and myself, I wanted to send I uh, say thank you for everything you have done for us. I'm sure Evan would not mind climbing that roof one more time to put your retirement banner on. Um, I wish you all the blessings um, as you move forward into your next retirement adventure. You have led well at HHCS and thanked and blessed others so faithfully. So we just want to um, continue to to pray for you um, in your next phase. Enjoy it, embrace it, 
um, I'm sure you'll be soaking in these last few days and weeks yet at HHCS. I can't wait to hear all the stories when we see each other again next. But until then, cheers, my friend. Hi, Mrs. Van Gore. It's the Orr family. We wanted to wish you a happy retirement and congratulations. And hi, Mrs. Van Gore. Thank you so much for ever having the foresight to bring Aerosmith to the Halton Hills community and helping so many kids and so many families. Um, we are definitely one of those. Um, thank you also for creating such an incredible culture for all of the kids at the school and all the parents alike. Um, we so appreciate all the work you've done and uh, we so wish you the very best of retirement. Uh, God bless and thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I can recall a time when I entered Halton Hills Christian School in the midst of a traumatic event. There were emergency vehicles on the premises and obviously the situation was very serious. Interestingly, inside of the school building and around the facilities itself, there was a sense of calm, no one frantically running around, no one panicking. It was obvious that the situation was being handled. Marianne is that kind of leader. It can feel like the world is coming apart around you. And in the midst of this appears Marianne Van Gore, professional, thoughtful, calm. She brings a sense of confidence to all the situations that we would encounter in our communities. Marianne, I know you may not feel that yourself, but that's what we get. I admire how you engaged the community that you led. It was obvious that you love the community, but also more than just the community in general, how much you love the individuals within that community. So much so that the phrase that we now attribute to you, love requires, resonated so integrally through you. For years, of le for years, your leadership has served the community well. But those years of leadership, particularly what I would call change leadership, as you have served the community, have led to immense change. You are recognized broadly as a change leader in our advanced community and beyond uh, that. I believe there are whispers in Australia and Korea and who knows where else about this dynamic leader in Halton Hills Christian School called Marianne Van Gore. But Marianne, your leadership extended beyond that change leadership. It was a leadership of a school community that grew to love you, to appreciate you, and to trust you as you led them through good times, through difficult times. You've been that leader. However, and I know this is important to you, as much as you have been a change leader and you have blessed this community, this community has changed and blessed you. Your faith in our Heavenly Father is deeper and more pronounced than ever. And Marianne, it has been evidenced in all you do. You've spoken about it, but more importantly, you've modeled it and you've led it. You speak openly of God's faithfulness and compassion and love through all things. Well done, Marianne. And I know that that task is not yet done. I know that as you leave Halton Hills, there are many things that you will continue to do and ways in which you will serve our Lord. And as that continues, we pray that you will continue to feel his blessing. You will continue to feel the support of the community but ultimately, this today is about our appreciation for you and for your great work. Well done.
thou good and faithful servant. Best wishes to Mrs. Van Gore for a well-deserved and happy retirement. Mrs. Van Gore always went out of her way to make our family feel very welcome, and we were very encouraged by her strong leadership. And thank you very much for always helping us out, and thank you for letting me use your office to do homework when I was late or early to school. Thank you very much. I was going to do this right away when it was requested of me about a month ago, and I'm actually super glad that I waited. Uh, partly because I think I'm getting more comfortable uh, talking to a screen. And uh, I just continue to learn from you um, through your leadership. Uh, my, memories, my memories of you go not really far back, but far back enough to wondering who that principal was in my church at New Life in Guelph. Um, making making connections to you through my mom and through other educators and then i think finally by god's grace finding my way into a, a closer relationship with you over the past year and i just want to say and share with you what i knew um would be the case uh was uh how much i continue to learn from you and this is congratulations this is thank you but uh, i also know uh, this is not a finish to my learning from you and um, and through you. So a, a few key memories that I just need to share. Uh, sitting around at Ron and Caroline Terpstra's place, who are my in-laws, and hearing them speak very highly of your leadership. Um, hearing of your struggle with cancer and watching how you... I think I, th I think stumbled through that with such grace. Um, I know what uh, what a piece of crap that disease can be, and um, I just uh, I just thank I just thank God that uh, that you have come out this side of it um, so well, and uh, I just um, need to share that uh, I I admired your um, your poise throughout because I know it's hard. Um, I remember a conversation with you on the phone fighting about this book and I actually don't think it was a fight. I think it was just your calm persistence that uh, no Kevin you need to learn from this and I was proven very wrong uh, thankfully by you and I'm actually recording this right after a meeting where uh, you were absent from, and uh, I was pinch hitting on your behalf. And of course, what did I share? Uh, a piece from Ruth Haley Barton. So thanks for that. Um, and finally, uh, just a congratulations on a, a career that I will continue to look to as a model for me and for my continued growth and leadership. Uh, Marianne, thanks for everything that you've given to the Christian School Movement. Thanks for everything you've given to Halton Hills and how you've poured yourself into your community there. And I just look forward to your continued influence and outpouring uh, of grace and wisdom uh, in, in the wider Christian community leadership of leadership. So uh, grace and peace to you as you move into a new chapter and i will definitely be seeing and talking to you soon take care god bless happy retirement marianne may the lord bless you and keep you in your retirement years i want to thank you for all that you have meant for christian school educators principals and students throughout the years and you have a long happy retirement don't be a stranger god bless Hi from the Maidemas. Um, I just wanted to say that you've been such a blessing to so many people over the years and congratulations on your retirement. It is a super privilege to be here and share in the special occasion of Marianne's retirement. Marianne, I am so thankful that you did not file my resume in with all the other papers that you usually get on your desk and that you just let me be on your desk for a couple of months and, and then called me up to join HHCS. I'm so thankful for the opportunities that you gave me there, not just starting off with um, Heidi in grade three, but then also giving me the opportunities to do a little bit of teaching and then helping out in the resource department and then teaching there. 
Marianne, you have always been such an encourager. And that's one of the things that I have appreciated about you. You've encouraged me to just keep going and to keep striving and to pursue more, um, whether that be in getting my Christian um, teaching certificate or in going and getting the spec ed, which I think every single teacher at HHTS has had to do. Um, but it's just been an encouragement to, to learn from you and through you and to see you encourage other people and striving us to be all that we can be, not just in the educational sense, but also as individuals as, as well as children of God. I think one of the things that has um, stood out for me being at HHCS with you is how God is so much part of life at HHCS. And that is through you. God has used you in so many ways. Um, I often think back to Oh, I wonder what Marianne is doing for the opening assembly this year. What little gadget will she use? Will she use balloons? Will she use water? Will she use rocks? There's always something creative, um, even in the teacher's um, uh, introductions, you know, at the beginning of the year. It's kind of like, will it be a spade this year? What will she have? And, and, and you've just been an inspiration to so many of us. Um, I th think of one of the other things, words that comes to mind is laughter. I can just hear you laughing in the hallways and you're you're always up for a joke and you're always up for um, getting dressed up and you and George doing silly things and um, thank you for making HHCS a place that was as filled with laughter and joy. But I think the thing that stands out most for me about you is that you are personal. You care about individuals. And I have appreciated, oh, just ignore the dogs next door. I have appreciated you coming around and being intentional about saying, how are you doing? And then just waiting for an answer and really wanting to know about your people, whether they be the students or your staff or the parents. And I think that has encouraged me and that has been an example for me to be more intentional about people. And, and thank you for instilling that in me and um, in so many other people at HHCS. It has been a privilege not only to have you as a boss, um, but also to have you as a friend. And, and, and I'm glad that that is going to continue. Um, yeah, you, and that boundary of boss and friendship is always a tricky one, but you've mastered it. You're fantastic at it. Um, so thank you and and all the best and lots of joy and laughter in your future. Hi, Mary Ann. Eric Hardeman here at Emmanuel Christian School. The school where you spent over half of your career as a first, as a society member, then as a parent, as a teacher, and finally as a principal. And yet, even in your later years, as a valuable resource for the Ontario Alliance of Christian Schools. While you were here, you earned the respect of staff and students alike. And that was noticeable in the culture, school culture, on the playground, and in the staff room. But that's not what Evelina and I are, will remember you most for. You, as a resource teacher, had a real gift. And that gift, as a resource teacher, was not just because you were a good teacher. It's because you deeply, deeply love your students. Thank you for what you've done for Christian education. God bless you and Martin in the years to come. Hey, Mary Ann, it's us, the Blauengrads. Um, we're sorry we couldn't wish you this in person, but we just wanted to take a second and say congratulations on your retirement and thank you so much for the years at HHCS. When Liz and I got married and started a family, uh, one of the things that we talked about was the importance of Christian school and uh, we're chose Georgetown for that, one of those reasons to settle here. So um, as we look back on our time at HHCS with the kids, I think the first year that you started was when Anders started in kindergarten. So we have a lot of fond memories. Um, we've both served on a number of committees and on the board as well, and uh, we're thankful for those opportunities. Um, I just remember too that uh, one thing that stands out in my mind is um, the professionalism and calm that you have brought to what can sometimes be a very hectic and crazy place. 
And so we're very thankful for that. I've had the honor of seeing you uh, many times as a piano teacher while I'm at the school, and I am just always so impressed um, with how you love and uh, work with the children, um, how you know them by name. And um, I specifically remember you, you knowing Avery even in JK. Uh, you knew her name and what days she was going to be there. And I thought, this is where my kids need to be. And I've just so appreciated um, the work that you've done and the leadership you've shown to HHCS. And we just hope that God continues to bless you in this new part of your journey. Uh, we pray that uh, you and Martin will enjoy the, the following years to come. I've often said that in a perfect world, every school would be a Christian school. And as we look back on your time here on the years ahead and afterwards too, I think we're gonna look back and, uh, and we'll agree that it was good. So thank you again to uh, Martin as well from all of us. God bless you and take care. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of this celebration to recognize the career of Mary Ann. I first had the pleasure of meeting Mary Ann back in 2006 after joining the board of HHCS for what I wrongfully assumed would be, for me, an uneventful final three-year term on the board. The youngest of my three children was finishing at HHCS and I thought a period of maintaining the status quo for my term on the board. Looking back, I was so wrong, and God had other plans for me and for HHCS, and Marianne was instrumental in what became a very eventful and exciting seven years. As board chair for six years, I had the privilege of working closely with Marianne. I learned a lot from Marianne about the school system and about putting my trust in God. It was a period where the board and the staff did a lot of dreaming about the possibilities for HHCS. The wild ride began when the school was approached by the region to ask if we would consider partnering together to support a new family health team in Halton Hills. They wanted to talk about a joint venture which would include the staff of the family health team sharing the school's parking lot. The default answer for the school would be no. This wasn't part of what a Christian school normally did, but Marianne and I agreed to meet with them. We prayed for wisdom and went to see what was in store. We ended up with a new parking lot, new friends at the family health team, and a new understanding of the Christian school community by the town. From here, the changes just kept on coming. An expanded JK and SK, a before school program, an after school program, the introduction of the Aerosmith program, a facility expansion, including different types of learning spaces for students, and just an overall approach of connecting with the community, a desire to be part of the community. All the changes were discussed and moved forward by the board and the leadership team of the school, but Mary Ann was such a big part of the process. Each time a new idea was raised, we would go through the same routine. We would discuss that we already had a lot on the table, and this new idea would just create more work and more challenges. We would always take time to pray about the opportunities and trust where the Lord would lead us. Each time, doors would continue to open to allow the plans to progress with ease. I believe Marianne was the leader in enabling the school to take this trusting approach. I learned a lot from Marianne about taking all our plans to God in prayer and then trusting his leading in what always seemed to be a new, sometimes scary, unknown territory for HHCS. A phrase that always comes to mind when thinking about HHCS is, every child matters. I think this was Marianne's motto for her life at HHCS. She has created an environment where every child really does matter, and the kids know it. They are loved by staff and by God. I congratulate you, Marianne, on this year retirement from HHCS. Know that you made a difference in the lives of so many children that will support them well in their careers and in their lives. Know too that the difference you made at HHCS will continue to be felt by the kids and the community for many years to come. For the future, I expect your wealth of knowledge and experience will still be used in many ways. I know that God still has plans for you to make a difference in Christian schools and in the lives of the children that attend them. May God continue to bless you in wherever he leads you in the future. Hi, Marianne. I've heard you're retiring this year and I want to just extend my congratulations and uh, 
I know you've had years of a lot of hard work and there's so many parents and kids that have appreciated what you've done. You have been great at your craft and I hope you can enjoy your retirement as much as you did your work. Uh, you have lots of time to spend with your grandkids and that and I just want to wish you the best and hopefully get to see you sometime soon. I know it's been years and under this these COVID conditions it's uh, hard to get together. Um, I'm sorry you can't have your big party but uh, I hope you can enjoy whatever you have coming in the future. Okay, take care. Say hi to Martin. Bye. Hey, my friend. It's been about 40 years ago when I first heard about you. Uh, my husband came home from uh, working at the almost finished brand new Lucknow Christian School and said that he had met uh, from the roof uh, the new teacher, the blonde, good looking one that drove a silver uh, Monte Carlo with a burgundy roof. Uh, that was going to be teaching at our at our school and she wasn't teaching one grade no she had taken on the position of four grades i didn't really get to know you right then but it was certainly within the next couple of years uh, because you taught our son and our oldest son and daughter um, and you invited me in to help in the classroom with decorating and we got to make those really cute little stools for the kids to sit on and uh, they had carpet on the bottom and the top. And we got to paint some pictures on it. Um, you were already creative way back then. Um, so what, if, what are some of my earliest memories of you? Um, going with you to book sales, going to buy children's books. I wanna thank you because because of you, I really believe my children were blessed with excellent resources at a very early age of having wonderful used books in our home and I don't think that ever stopped. Um, I think it's been amazing that you left our community and um, our friendship stayed through thick and thin, through joys and through sadnesses, through uh, happy occasions of our kids getting married to losing our parents. We've done it together and I'm just so grateful. So when I think about you, of course I could talk for a long time, but when I think about you, I think one of the biggest gifts is your passion for your work. Um, but more than that is your passion for learning and your love for children. And that to me is your legacy that um, I, I think will always be how you will be remembered. You were never doing things the same. You're always growing in how you were learning. You're always listening to the next podcast or when you'd come to my house, you always had a book in hand. You are a lifelong learner. And I want to thank you for being my iron sharpens iron friend through this journey. Um, and congratulations. This is not how we thought you would end your career. And yet you have done it so incredibly well for such a time as this, the good Lord knew. And that too is another thing I'm so grateful for is um, our friendship has always been um, being able to pray together and and reach out to each other uh, through thick and thin and God has been our foundation so my friend congratulations on 40 years of teaching and being um, in leadership and may God bless you now as you leave this and go to the next chapter wherever that will take you I love you dearly Marianne, this psalm is for you as you go out. You have finished strong. It is also for Angie as she comes in. May God keep you both in his care and continue to protect you both. Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out 
and you're coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Marianne, the legacy that you leave is in the very fabric of this building, not only through the many exciting educational moves we've made, but through the physical space and the people that walk the halls. Your legacy of love is by far the greatest thing you could leave here, as you've modeled and embodied the love of Christ. You've taught us to ask the question, what does love require? A hard conversation, silence, a hug, a smile. It means something different in each situation we find ourselves. But we thank you for helping us to thrive as a community who seeks to exhibit love no matter what. We will keep these words close as we hang them in this very building to remind us of you. Although we don't need a sign because you'll always be so much a part of Halton Hills Christian School in each one of us. We're excited to present you with your very own replica of this sign that we hope you will hang in your home to remind you of the many lives you have impacted and loved. And we know that we will stay connected through the love of Christ that we share. Thank you, Marianne, for being a faithful servant and courageous leader. You are so very loved. Congratulations, Mom, on your retirement. We are so excited to be celebrating this milestone with you. And um, we look forward to the many years of retirement that are ahead and many adventures we will have together. We celebrate with you the legacy that you have left for education, not only in your community, but also in our family. Um, we, there have been a couple of us that have followed in your footsteps. I forever had wanted to be a teacher because of you. Became a teacher and came back to teaching recently and have been so appreciative of your, of your leadership and teaching as I have begun this journey again. And we have seen the um, legacy that you've sown for Christian education um, in all of our families. And I believe that that will make a big impact for the future generations as well. Congratulations, Marianne. Uh, blessings to you as you enter this new stage and phase of life. Um, you've had uh, an awesome career. Um, we're really thankful for you. We're thankful for uh, the many blessings that um, you give to our family. Um, we've had lots and lots of conversations over time about education and um, about our lives and our careers. And um, it's been a real blessing uh, to be able to share that with you. So as you head off into retirement, um, again, uh, may God bless you and keep you. And we look forward to uh, seeing what he has in store for this next chapter in your life. Congratulations, Nan. We are excited that you're retiring. These are some things that we would like to do with you while you are retired. Lots of sleepovers and going camping. I'm going bowling this year. Beach visits and lots of board games. Rock climbing. We love you, yeah. Nan. We love you, Nan. Happy retirement, Nan. Now, Joel, what's one thing that you want to do more with Nan? I want you to come to our house more. Did you hear that, Nan? So pack your bags. I guess you're uh, coming to London for some vi more visits. Um, first, I just want to say thank you. I'm so very thankful to have you as my loving and supportive mom. I love you so much. Secondly, I'm so grateful for your help as an educator. You really helped me figure things out when I first started teaching. Thank you more recently for all your wise conversations and ideas that I've used as I've started to implement project-based learning with my students. I'm so grateful for your help. I'm excited for you to start this new season of your life and congratulations on your retirement. Mom, I was always praying about what, um, what to include in the video for you. I felt like the Lord whispered to me the, the two words, well done. Mom, I want you to know that you, you have given yourself time to education, to serve and to improve the lives of many. You 
have openly shared your faith and have used your talents without reservation. I feel like the Lord is saying that he is simply proud of you. And he says, a job well done. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi Mom. We just wanted to make a little video for you to say congratulations on your retirement. We're so excited for you um, in this next chapter of your life. Um, we're also so proud of all the work that you've done in Christian education and impacting people's lives for Christ. Um, we also wanted to take a few minutes to tell you all the things that we are so excited to do now that you have a little more time on your hands for us. So here are some of the things that we've made on this beautiful flower because you love flowers. And it says, we can't wait to so, Owen, why don't you read some of the ones that you can't wait to do with Nan. Hold up the fire for everyone to see. I can't wait to have sushi with you, Nan, and I can't wait to have bubble tea with you and have dinner with you and have fireworks. Ooh, and I think it's a big fireworks. Addy, what are you most excited to do with Nan? I'm most excited to hug you. To hug Nan. All right, Becky, what do you want to do with Nan? Ride a horsey. Ride a horsey with Nan. Emma, what about you? Uh, today, Mom, I want to ride a pony. And you want to ride a pony with Nan. <laughs> I think some of the other ones that we came up with as a family were making s'mores, having a hot tub, I'm going, going, to, going the to the beach. Ice, and getting ice cream. Getting ice cream. Ice cream. Owen thought maybe Nan would like to go on a field trip with him. Field trip. A field trip. Having dinners together. Going camping. Going camping. Lots of really fun things on there. So we love you, Nan. We're love proud of you. you. And happy retirement. Happy retirement.